Is digital marketing a good career? That is the topic of this video. We're gonna be talking about all the most important things associated with digital marketing, like salary, job satisfaction, demand, and other X factors. And by the end of this video, you are gonna have a very good idea whether digital marketing is a good career and specifically a good career fit for you or not. So if you like videos like this, go ahead, gently tap that like button and let me know down in the comments below and let's get into it. All right, so first of all, let's answer the question, what exactly is digital marketing? It refers to the use of digital channels in order to market a product to a customer base. So if you see an ad pop up on this video, for instance, or you see an ad pop up on Facebook or Google when you're searching, that is digital marketing. Marketing. Next, let's talk about the education needed in order to break into a digital marketing position. Now, in the past, in order to get a marketing job, you would have to get a marketing degree. But in modern times, because of the fact that digital marketing changes so fast, colleges have not been able to keep up with the changes. And so if you're trying to go into digital marketing, a lot of the time colleges are gonna teach you stuff that maybe worked 20 or 30 years ago, but doesn't work now. So a college degree is not needed to get into digital marketing. And that's why it's one of my favorite careers. It's really great for people who either want to switch careers or they want to skip college. And I did an interview a bit ago with Seth, who is basically a digital marketer that teaches other people how to get into digital marketing. He's got thousands and thousands of reviews on his Instagram and his YouTube channel. He has literally helped thousands of people become digital marketers. So you can check that interview out. He also has a free masterclass down below. So if you're not sure if digital marketing is a good fit for your personality, you can check that out. And I will put that in the pinned comment and the description down below. All right, so let's talk about demand. Demand is probably the most important thing when it comes to evaluating a career because typically everything else tends to stem from demand. So if something has high demand, you're likely gonna get paid better. You're also likely going to get treated better. And so you're gonna have higher job satisfaction and there's gonna be more opportunities. So the X factors are gonna be higher et cetera, et cetera. Now, BLS doesn't have a lot of statistics for digital marketers specifically, but they say that marketing managers are growing at about 10% over the next 10 years, which is higher than average. So that's pretty good. Now, if you look at digital marketing specifically on LinkedIn, you will see that there are 252,000 job postings for digital marketers. And even if you look at job postings for entry level careers, there's still 123,000 for digital marketers. That is absolutely bananas. That is a ridiculous amount of demand. And because of that, this one is gonna get a score of 10 out of 10 for demand. Next on the list, we're gonna talk about job satisfaction. And this is basically how much you enjoy doing your job on a day-to-day -day basis. Now, this is by far the most subjective section, so take it with a grain of salt, but I will talk about a few things just in case it helps you out. So according to Payscale, when you look at job satisfaction, it shows there is a meaning score of 44%, which is basically how much you think your job positively impacts the world. And the job satisfaction is 70%. So 70% is definitely well above average. And keep in mind, this is marketing managers. They didn't have anything listed for digital marketers. However, the meaning score is a little bit below average. So make sure this is something that you're passionate about and you actually enjoy. But overall, I think a lot of this has to do with flexibility. And the great thing about digital marketing is it's just a valuable skill in general. So if for whatever reason, let's say you go into pay-per-click digital marketing, you don't like it, you can very easily switch over into a different type of digital marketing, or you can just switch into something else. Your skills that you learned as a digital marketer will be valuable in many different roles. And just from my own personal experience, talking to a bunch of different people who are looking at a bunch of different career paths, digital marketing is one of the most flexible when it comes to a lot of different people being able to go into it and enjoy their work. So I've seen people who are extremely analytical, for instance, have a lot of success in digital marketing. And at the same time, I've seen people who are very artistic, really enjoy digital marketing jobs as well. Depending on your skill set, you might go down like the social media marketing route, uh, the pay-per-click route, the SEO route, etc. But the big thing here is that it's very flexible and that leads to you having a higher job satisfaction. And another thing that when it comes to satisfaction is how much you risk going into it. If you look at a career like doctor, for instance, you need to be absolutely 100% sure that it's something you can see yourself doing for a long period of time because you have to go to school for at least eight years and then you're gonna do a residency that's three to seven years and then you might even do a fellowship after that. So if you get through all of that and then you decide you hate your career, you're kind of shit out of luck. Goodbye, my friend.
Whereas with digital marketing, you can get into it relatively quickly and inexpensively. So if you don't like it, it's not that big of a loss. So in my opinion, that does factor into job satisfaction as well. So overall, I'm going to give this one a nine out of 10 when it comes to satisfaction. Next on the list, we're going to be talking about salary. Now, BLS bunches together like all different types of marketers. Unfortunately, they don't have statistics specifically for digital marketers, but marketing managers make about $133,000 a year. And you can also see the specific salaries of people who go into different marketing skill sets. So I'll put that up on the screen. There's like information, professional, scientific, etc. And if you compare marketing managers to the average salary of all people in all different occupations, it's 135,000 versus 45,000. So again, very nice. So a marketing manager is something you could become, but the typical digital marketer, according to Glassdoor, makes about $76,000 a year, which is pretty good. But again, you do have the option to move into a lot of those more lucrative roles. And you also have to keep in mind, this is $76,000 a year for a career that you can get into without having to go to college or have previous experience. So for that reason, I'm gonna give it a salary score of 8.5 out of 10. Next, I'm gonna be talking about X factors. And this is basically anything that doesn't fit into the other categories, but is still important. So there are only a few types of skills out there where you can use your knowledge, what you know, to reach millions of people. Off the top of my head, the only ones I can think of are digital marketing, sales, uh, content creation, and coding. So you basically have infinite leverage when it comes to digital marketing, because if you get really good at it, you can pay money uh, to advertise your products and you make even more money. And it's like you put $1 in and you get $2 out. It's basically like a machine that prints money. So very, very valuable skill set, whether you're working for a company or whether you decide to go off on your own and start your own business. Now, as to the question of whether digital marketing is going to be able to be automated or outsourced, I highly, highly doubt it. Part of it will be automated just like in every industry things are automated but it is one of those skill sets especially the artistic side of it that is never going to be able to be automated or if it is nobody's going to have to work because robots are just going to be doing everything for us and marketers also have to have a very good intuitive understanding of their market so it's very difficult to outsource something to another country because they don't understand the market that you would be marketing to so overall when it comes to x factors i'm going to give this one a 10 out of 10. so over Overall, this one is going to get a 9.375 out of 10 phenomenal career path for you to go down. What makes it especially good is if you're somebody who doesn't want to get a college degree or you're somebody who got a college degree, but you're not happy with it. Or if you're somebody who's in a career that you're not happy with and you don't have any experience in digital marketing, you can still relatively easily transition into it. Now, if you're somebody who is set on going to college, this one wouldn't be as good. Hope you enjoyed the video. Check out my other video right here if you like this one. Um, I think I'm gonna link you to like a digital marketing interview I did. Uh, that's a really good video. It's uh, a young guy who was able to get into digital marketing without any experience. Um, I believe he did it at 19 years old and his name is Keyshawn. Gently tap that like button, hit the subscribe button, ring the notification bell and comment down below any thoughts, comments, criticisms, et cetera that you have on the video and I will see you next time.